Hello and welcome to Bubble Trouble, the science of soaps, where I'll talk to you about how soaps work and how their ingredients can also be used to make other products and make massive bubbles. So, surfactants are the main ingredient of soap and they're this awesome chemical where they've got two parts, a water-loving head and an oil-loving tail. Normally, oil and water don't mix. As you can see, water on the bottom and oil on top. But the two dual properties of surfactant allows these two fluids to mix. For example, when you've got uh, dirty hands, you've got grease on your fingers. The oil-loving tail of the surfactant will stick to the grease and then water can then wash this off. Also, you can stabilize products such as mayonnaise, um, moisturizers and aspirin inhalers. So in the example of mayonnaise, you've got oil and then water droplets dispersed inside there and then the surfactants form an outer layer to stabilize the water inside the oil. And also, surfactants can help to form bubbles. Normally, water in droplets like to pack together really tightly, huddle like penguins. But then when you add surfactants, it allows a layer of air to form in between the water molecules and they arrange just like this. So that's the boring science part out of the way. But let's go on to the fun bit, how to make massive bubbles. So this big bubble recipe, you'll need 500 ml of warm water, 125 ml of fairy liquid, and two teaspoons of glycerin. And glycerin, you'll find that in the baking section of your cooking cupboard. And when you're mixing, you wanna stir these together gently, and you can form a solution just like this. And you put your stick in, and you get your bubbles. Wow!